Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 Talk, where I'll be discussing custom help panes and guided tasks for unified interface apps. But before we start, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Dion Taylor. You can take a look at my blog at d365goddess.com or follow me on Twitter at d365goddess. Now, I'm not sure if any of you have ever worked with Learning Path, which is available in the legacy interface in Dynamics 365. Um, I didn't really work with it a lot because it was a little clunky for my taste. But the way that it worked is that you can configure these help panes that would show up on the right side, right inside of Dynamics 365. And inside of that help pane, you could have all different types of information, such as videos, images, text, links, etc. So if you wanted to start creating those, that content, you would just have to click on that question mark and then click on the edit button that you see over here. And that will bring in this particular sidebar this is a sidebar that we're working on here and you can see here that it says learning path now i tried to add learning path to the unified interface but unfortunately this was not something that was available inside of the unified interface but now we actually have something that's very similar to learning path which is called custom help pains and guided tasks which we can use inside of the unified interface. Now, obviously before we do that, we have to first enable that. So let me show you how you can do that. If you are inside of uh, Dynamics 365 app, right? You can just click on this gear icon over here and then you can click on advanced settings. That will open up the settings pane in Dynamics 365. From there, you can just click on administration and then system settings and then if you scroll down you'll see here the custom help section so you can see here it says enable custom helpings and guided tasks so you can just set that to yes and then you can start working with these custom helpings and guided tasks now, keep in mind also that before you start authoring these custom helpings, you need to be on version 9.1.0.10300 or later. And you also need a security role that has global create, write, delete, append, and append to privileges on the help page entity. So this entity is listed on the, the custom entities page on the security role form. So let me show you that real quick. So if you go to security and you open a security role, if you wanted to add that to a security role, you go here to the custom entities and we're looking for the H here it is help page. So you need to make sure again that you have create write delete append and append to and those need to be the global settings for those okay now also keep in mind that the custom help panes functionality is not exactly the same as learning path but it does replace learning path so obviously we all know that the legacy interface is going to be disappearing, right? We're not, it's not going to be supported anymore. So we're just going to have the unified interface. So let me navigate here to my custom ATS app that I created for the unified interface and let you, let me show you what that helping looks like. So again, we need to go ahead and click here on the help icon and if that particular section has help configured for it, you can see here on the right hand side that all the content is now showing up, right? So I have a little bit of text here. This is the name of this pane or, or this help page or whatever you want to call it. 
you can see here I have some regular text data in there and there's some links here I have a picture here and I also have a video in here now let's take a look at the configuration for that so if I click here on these three dots and then I click on edit I can start adding content to that particular help pane right we can see here we have different format options double strike through we have some bulleted lists we can remove links etc but we also have the ability to insert special items right so let's take a look at that so we have for example sections and sections are like text boxes which can be collapsed by default so if I click on that you can see if I actually check this box I can make that collapse by default so this is another section let me just go ahead and insert and there you can see that it now appeared and then I can start typing text right here so that's a section I can also add obviously pictures directly into my helping you need an image URL for that obviously and then you can put in a title and some additional text here as well we also have the option to embed videos directly into that helping and just like images we need a URL in order to add that video content we also have the option to configure to allow full screen viewing and we can also configure autoplay and set the start time of that video as well. Now, keep in mind that the supported video sources are Microsoft Stream, YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo. I'm just going to hit cancel here. Let's go to the next one. So here is the link. And obviously, again, for links, we also need a URL and this embeds a link to a web page right so you just put your URL right in here you can put some text in here as well and then you can configure whether or not to open that content in a new window and the existing help page is not cur currently available but as you can see the feature according to this is coming very soon and then the last two is one of them is called a coach mark and the other one is called a balloon now they're very similar both of them are used to highlight specific areas in the user interface the difference with a balloon is that a balloon can have text in it and coach marks don't the coach marks is just a call out on the screen and I will show you that as well so I have you can see here it says users can switch to a different dashboard by clicking the dashboard pane now this is configured as a balloon so if I click on that you can see that balloon just popped up and I can have some text in there as well now when I click on the save word this is actually a coach mark so if I click on that right they can save the existing dashboard as a personal dashboard so I click save oops you know what I need to actually get out of there and let me click the word save here and you see that we get that call out now which is pointing to the button that we're referring to now let me show you how you can edit those two let's start here with I'm gonna go ahead and remove this save portion here and re enter that so let me just get rid of that so you just again click on insert coach mark you put in the text and then we need to drag this to the element that we want it to point to so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my save as button I'm gonna drop it in there and I'm gonna click insert so that's that now here we have dashboard name and the way that that works is very similar you have your you click on your balloon and you put in a text so I'm gonna say balloon save click here to save the dashboard as a personal dashboard 
And then again, we need to drag that to that element. So we're going to go to the same Save As button. We're going to insert that. And you can see here, this is now just called Balloon Save. So again, I'm going to save that. And I'm going to click on Balloon Save. And as you can see, now it is pointing at my Save button as a balloon with some additional text. Now, if there is no data, I'm just going to close this here and you can see that it just says it is feeling a little empty here and then you can start editing that page and add content to that page by again just clicking that edit button. Now unfortunately what I found is that any of those system apps such as field service and the sales hub and project service if I want to add help content there, it does not allow me to add the help content over there. So I'm hoping that's going to come later on, but obviously I don't know. The other thing that's kind of interesting is that every time you create a help pane for the system, I'm actually going to go here and we said that these were called help pages it creates a help page record in Dynamics 365. So you can see here, I have two. Here's my dashboard help page. And this is what that looks like. I think it's very interesting. Now, does this mean that we can move this from one environment to another? That's exactly what that means. But we're not going to move that as data. So we're not going to export the data and then import the data we're actually going to add these help pages to a solution just like we normally do and then export that and then bring that back into the new environment. So let me show you how we can do that. Again, I'm going to navigate to advanced settings. I'm going to solutions and you can see here, I already created a solution for help pages. So let me open up my solution. And if I scroll down here, you can see our help pages are right over there. So I can click on that and then I can just click add existing or oops, I can stay in components and scroll down here for my help page and then select the pages that I want to move. All right. I can save this, export this, import that back into my environment and I am done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to come back next week for yet another video. Have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.